Hi, my name is Don Bowman, and here at Agilicus, we believe very firmly in zero trust. Zero trust is a concept that came out about 10 years ago or so, maybe about 2010, and what it was was an attempt to get people to think beyond perimeter-based security, putting a big firewall at the door, outside bad, inside good, infinite trust inside, zero trust outside. We instead moved it into five main domains. If you think about, you have a user, and they use some device, could be mobile, could be fixed. That in turn has some network connectivity to an application that you make available to them. And that application in turn has access to some persistent data. The application might use some additional services on the side, and there may be other applications running in the same similar environment to it. So what does zero trust mean? Well, in a nutshell, we continuously verify. At every step, we verify we talk into who we think we are. We can think of these as sort of swim lanes. User, device, um, transport, application, and data. So these swim lanes, we think about each one needs to prove both directions that it's trustworthy. It's got to be mutual. So here, we use technologies like OpenID Connect, two-factor authentication, in order to for you to prove who you are to this device and onwards to the network. The device might use a client certificate to prove who it is. The transport would use TLS and specifically something called mutual TLS where you authenticate in both directions. In order for the device to be trustworthy, it might use other technologies like UEFI Secure Boot or maybe a fully encrypted hard disk. The network layer you effectively trust nothing in here. You don't, you don't put in a firewall that trusts a certain port or IP address. You assume nothing's trustworthy. When you get into this domain, you want full isolation here. So in this layer, we use, again, mutual TLS for workload-based identification. And we may also use a standard called Spiffy, which is used to identify different pieces of the workload so that this service knows it's talking to this application this application knows it's talking to this service without some man in the middle or intermediary and prevent this application, this other application from getting in. And then on the data side, on the transmission of the data, we would again use MTLS. And in here, we would, in order we want the data to be trustworthy, we want to make sure that passwords are stored in a hashed form or not at all. See my earlier talks about OpenID Connect. You might want other uh, checksums across the data to know that it hasn't been tampered with, referential integrity in your database. Um, you might have audit logs, you know, access audit logs to know who's changed what data when. The net effect of a system like this is instead of just putting a little firewall here and assuming everything that can get through the firewall is trusted, at every layer we've put zero trust. The user has to prove who they are. The device has to prove who it is in both directions. The application and the service have to prove who they are. We've introduced this concept of Spiffy, mutual TLS, two-factor, OpenID Connect, client certificates, and UEFI, and the hashing, checksum, and audit log of the data. And this gives us an end-to-end -end trustworthy flow. Defense in depth, if one of these things becomes compromised, both of the neighbors find out and refuse to talk to it. This rogue app can't get in. This rogue network can't get in. We're much stronger. That's what we think here at Agilicus. Perimeter security is not the future. Zero trust is the future. Anyway, thanks very much. Comments down below. Let me know how you think. Bye-bye.